Hit OK. Yeah, you... What? what wait, what the... No! Yeah! Just go in! It's a JavaScript bot! Who fucking cares? Greetings, Internet, and welcome back to Crazy Ken! We are back with the OS9 installation menstruation frustration. Yeah, so where we left off was I tried this new disc on the iMac G4, the Luxo model, and it still didn't work. So we're gonna do something scientists call process of elimination, which we've kind of been doing this whole time. So now I'm taking the fresh image I just burned and trying it on a different computer. And we're gonna try to eliminate as many variables and other shit as possible to keep this control. In you go. And let's refresh. The screen is so dark I can't even see the cursor. There, oh my gosh, this is, whoa. There it is. <laughs> I just got an exercise update. Oh, an update on your day. I just got my fitness thing going on there. You can't really see it, bad angle. And there you go. <laughs> all right, there is no OS on this computer at all right now. So hopefully nothing else interferes with OS 9 here. And once it loads, there we go. And hopefully it works. Okay, so here we are in the live CD version of Mac OS 9. We're gonna try using the Mac OS installer icon. Hopscotch. Speaking of scotch. Yeah, oh my gosh, why is scotch in the name Hopscotch? Is, isn't hops also related to booze? So you have hops and scotch, two boozy things in a kid's game? Wow, that's dark. Anyway, continue. There is a problem with the program file. Cannot open the target select file because of an error. Why? Why? I don't understand. I don't get it. Okay, um, let's try this other installer. I don't know, maybe I didn't have a bad disk. Maybe I just have bad computers. We have tried installing on how many different computers now? Three? And they are all showing different problems. So it's like, it's a little hard to narrow it down to what the issue is because it seems to be different every time. So let's see what happens with this. Nope. Still doesn't work. All right, so I'm back in my office here and I found another copy of OS 9.2.1. And this one seems to be installing so far. The only other difference I made, so this is not a very controlled experiment, is I unchecked the option to update the hard disk drivers. So I don't know if either of those two things had to do with the issue, but it seems to be fixed so far. So far during this entire journey, let's just call it, the installer has never made it to 16 minutes remaining, so hopefully I didn't jinx it. Hopefully OS 9 actually continues installing. This has been a bit of a bitch of an experiment. I didn't think it would take this long, honestly. Keep my sanity. Everything's okay. Everything's okay! I can't believe it. It's actually still working. Yo! Poured scotch on the computer and it was just fine. Oh, that's the other variable I forgot to mention. I did change that in the experiment. Pouring booze on the computer makes them work better. It's almost like the opposite of pouring booze into a human. Are you freaking shitting me? It got this far and a JavaScript file couldn't install? And it has to abort the whole thing? It's a JavaScript file. Who fucking cares? <sighs> All right, well, let's hit OK, see what happens. An error has stopped the installation process. Some software has not been installed. Um, oh, hang on. Maybe it doesn't have to abort the whole thing. Okay, let's, um, let's try it again. And then if that doesn't work, let's skip it. Okay, maybe this will work. Oh my gosh. Well, I'll be darned. It actually worked. Holy shit. This is amazing. Okay, so we're going to hit quit and pray that the thing can actually reboot. <laughs> Fingers crossed. 
All right, installation so far looks like it actually succeeded. Now to boot it up. I'm also going to eject the disc while we're at it. So can I just do that from here? I know normally you can hold down the mouse button, but I can't seem to get that to work with this computer. Command, yep, oh, there you go, Command E. Bam. All right, let's see what we got. Happy face, good start. Actually, I shouldn't abuse that disc. That might be the only one that freaking works. I don't know. <laughs> OS 9.2 starting up. Shit, I think we may have actually succeeded. Just for the record, uh, it's currently 9.21 local time. I started filming this two-parter, which it it originally was going to be a one-parter. I started filming this two-parter at 4. So this is... With a dinner mixed in, this has gone on for five hours and 20 minutes. Ah, I'm, so, I'm so good at spending my Saturday evening. <laughs> okay, cool abstract wallpaper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Finally, after all these great tribulations, we have Mac OS 9.2 installed on an iBook G3 clamshell. So... Earlier, I did mention that I needed OS 9 installed for a very specific reason. And that reason is about to be revealed. But you won't see what goes down until a future Crazy Ken episode. So, let's have a look. I'm going to start by plugging in what I lovingly call the flask drive. Because it looks like a flask, but it is actually a quarter terabyte Firewire portable hard drive. And yes, there is the setup assistant and all that good stuff, but we will shade that for now. Shade this for now as well. Yes, there is Wi-Fi on here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to where the FireWire is. Um, oh, wait, hang on a second. This isn't the FireWire model, is it? Ha! Oh, shit. I thought I had the FireWire model. Hmm. Well, son of a bitch, I'm going to have to uh, transfer all this stuff through USB. I'm guessing that's not 2.0, so it's going to be very slow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm in for a treat. Okay, so I have the hard drive, the flash drive, if you will, and it's using a USB connector instead of FireWire. So it's going to be a lot slower, but as of right now, it's the only way I can transfer this data. Now I just realized, since this model doesn't have Firewire, it may not be able to run the software I want it to run. But I have a backup for that too. So, let's plug it in and just see what happens. Oh yep, listen to that. Yep, so it cannot be powered off of this, which was my fear. So, I'm going to need to get a flash drive, something that can be bus powered. It's going to be slow anyway, so whatever. And I'll transfer the data that way. Alright, so I took one of my old flash drives and reformatted it to work with this computer. And put the software on it. So let's see if it works. Just watch it not work, like everything else tonight. Mother <sighs> Tough. This one's a toughie. Um, okay. <laughs> well, that's a problem. We're gonna have to eject it. I don't wanna delete the data. Your, you may now remove the, yeah, 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 okay. I'm gonna try to get the data transferred onto here so I could show you what's going to be happening next. And it may not happen with this computer if it's going to keep being a bitch. I do have a backup. It's called the G4 Cube, because that thing does everything. Except, <laughs> you can't plug your headphones into it. Kind of like the iPhone 7. Anyway, it's funny how tech repeats itself in circles, right? I did a video on that, actually. So, be right back. All right, so since I can't seem to get that flash drive working, I'm just plugging in the old super drive again, and... 
I'm going to burn the files I need to a disk. Focus. 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 There we go. So, 60%. All right. It's getting there. All right, the disk burned and ejected, but of course, that can't happen without some kind of error, like I always get. This is stupid, and I want to punch somebody. Probably this computer. Anyway, let's take a look and actually diagnose the problem. So the disk can't be verified. It might be unreliable, so it might still work. Try again using a new blank disk. Error code 8002063. Call that for support. Yeah, just kidding. That's not a phone number. All right, well, guess what? We're going to try it anyway. Put it back in. Hit OK. Yeah. You, what, what? Wait, what the? No! Yeah! Just go in! That's what she said. Anyway, let's try that again. It's loading and spinning up. I hear it. I hear it. Come on. All right, oh, it looks like it's working. Did you just see what it might be? Oh, maybe you did if you were paying attention. You can rewind the video if you want. All right, so the disc seems to work on this computer. We're gonna test it now on the other machine. I just realized I burned it at 24X. That's not a, that's not a 24X ROM, CD-ROM drive downstairs in the studio, is it? Shit, this may not work again. Okay. <laughs> Boy, what a night. I have a CD here with the software on it because I can't seem to transfer this stuff any other way. <laughs> so I'm going to try a CD, and I'm afraid I burned it at a speed that this might not be able to read at, but I don't know if CDs work that way. It might still just work. Oh, hey, maybe it did. Hang on. Oh, we might be getting somewhere. Hang on. Oh, I'm going to drag this to the desktop. Make a copy. Holy shit, this might do something. Now, again, I don't know if this program can open. And yes, if you figured it out by now, this is iMovie 1. This is the first version of iMovie that was ever made. If you look at the icon, it has the DV logo on it even. Yes. Like DV tapes. That was huge for 1999. Steve Jobs was basically saying desktop publishing was big, the next thing is desktop video. And he was right. It really took off. And I think it's fair to say that iMovie was at the forefront of a lot of that. So, in a future episode, and maybe in other productions from the Computer Clan, I would love to have this showed off. But it may not work on this computer because I forgot this is not a Firewire model. But the good news is I have other OS 9 computers that do have Firewire, so that will be our backup plan. But for now, let's just see if this frickin' thing works. Can't find interface object movie bar. What the fuck does that mean? The programmer made an error. This is probably a bug. What? Okay, you're making fun of yourself right there. Shit. Well, that didn't open up. Honestly, I didn't think it would on this computer. Um, it may not. This may not work on any other computer, but there's another Computer Clan member, I think, that used this exact same copy, and it worked for them. But they were probably using it on a computer it was compatible with. This computer actually predates iMovie by, by just a little bit, and I, that was an oversight. So anyway, that's going to be in a future episode, but the main goal... For tonight was to get freaking OS 9 installed on something. I only half won because I can't use iMovie with it, but at least I got it installed so I kept my promise. So thank you for watching and guess what? There's a lot more to come so stay tuned and I'll see you in the not too distant future. I am fucking done for tonight. <laughs>